Remember MySpace? It was like Facebook, but without all the minion memes posted by that one girl you knew in high school who had a kid oh way God. too early and finds an escape in logging into a cesspool of like-minded Karens, for lack of a better term. Many people remember MySpace as the original social media. Sure, that's not entirely true. I mean, there was a site called Friendster. Friendster was founded in 2003, and it was a site that allowed people to connect with other people, share pictures, cyberbully one another, send a picture of one of those Calvin peeing stickers. You know what a father flippin' social network is. Friendster would inevitably meet the suspected fate of tanking due to the next big thing rising in popularity. That thing, well, being MySpace. Like Friendster, MySpace was founded in 2003 by these two handsome lady killers. Krista Wolf and the legend himself, Tom Anderson. Tom Anderson being the most recognizable of the two, because when you initially create your MySpace account, you're greeted by your first friend. That being the aforementioned gentleman over here, Tom Anderson. That profile picture with that cheeky smile and head turn belongs in the Smithsonian. You could show me a picture of my own mother next to a picture of Tom Anderson, and chances are I'd probably recognize Tom first. The inception of MySpace was kind of a long one, dating back to the 1990s, but it didn't actually take shape until there early 2000s. Influenced by the likes of GeoCities, Six Degrees, and Match.com, DeWolf wanted to create a place for creative expression, and oh boy did he. You see, in the early 2000s, with the rise of reality TV, everybody wanted to be famous in one way or another, and MySpace gave people the tools to do just that. Even if this guy isn't a professional basketball player, I'm hoping he's hung like one. If these guys don't clean their teeth, it probably means they have smelly balls. Next. You could showcase your talent in the form of your shitty music, or by how straight you got your hair that morning. But my personal favorite form of expression was uh, the HTML coding that they had young gentlemen like me doing. I think it's kind of funny how learn to code became an insult many years later when at some point or another we were all coding, alright, we, we were all programmers in that bitch, we were all fucking hacking into the matrix. This allowed people to really express themselves by how their page looked. You can make your profile look like MS Paint came to life and took a violent shit on your computer screen, or you could go the route of the Cholo Kid in your class and have a gif of iced up Spongebob looking like he's serving 25 to life. You know which one I'm talking about. The madness on screen was accompanied by Taking Back Sunday or My Chemical Romance serenading the defecation in the form of a profile song. Profile songs were something that we all took for granted. We didn't shill our mixtapes or sound clouds, we just showed what kind of music we were into. And uh... That, that was pretty cool. There was so much you could do with such a basic social networking site. I mean, you had bulletins, uh, whore trains, top eights, which later turned into top two minis, <laughs> am I right? Deciding your top eight was a terrible, terrible life decision for a young adolescent like myself. I mean, this was something that was going to affect whether or not you lost the respect of your peers at school the next day. This was serious business, man. <laughs> Between the years of 2005 and 2008, MySpace was the largest social networking site on the internet and even got offered to be purchased by the cybernetic cyst Mark Zuckerberg for $75 million. Sucks to suck, and zucks to zuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm getting really deep here, and I I I'll get to the decline of MySpace in just a second, but I would like to share my personal experience with the platform, if I may. As a preteen, all my friends had MySpace pages in tandem with an AIM account. It's how we all stayed in touch. For the kids in my school, MySpace was one big popularity contest. Everybody wanted to be MySpace famous, which in a way is kind of foreshadowing to the kids of today who are selling their soul to the devil and spreading their ass cheeks on fucking Instagram for clout. As far as long-term relevancy goes, really the only person that comes to mind is Jeffree Star, who actually got his start on MySpace. Who is now a multi-fucking millionaire, might I add. Oh if you remember the song Ice Cream, then uh, you, you qualify for a veteran's discount. People judged each other on their looks and how quirky and edgy they could be. Looking back, it's kind of the stupidest shit ever. But I have made some pretty cool friendships on MySpace that later dwindled into nothing. That's kind of sad. The allure of the site was the mutual interest between my peers and I. That interest being... Oh god. Ugh. <coughs> oh god. The scene era. The scene era is the first thing that comes to mind when any one of my friends brings up the MySpace era. We all kind of know exactly what's being spoken about. MySpace started a digital cult, for lack of a better term. Its presence online was definitely one that people knew about. Everybody and their goddamn chihuahuas had a MySpace page. It was a big change in the way people got connected. No longer were the days of exchanging email addresses and sending fucking carrier pigeons. 
Back in 2005, a comedian by the name of David Lear created a video so iconic that it circulated around my school like wildfire. And that video was titled, MySpace the Movie. Showcasing the cliche stereotypes of everyone on the site, it was truly the epitome of relatable content XD. If you want to blast from the past, I highly recommend watching it, because honestly, it's still funny to this day. Like, yeah, I, I know MySpace is long gone, but this shit, it, it's still hilarious. But I digress. Back to the fall of MySpace. MySpace brought a lot of people together. It brought light to pop music, indie music, screamo, hardcore, you name it. It definitely did a lot to shape the connected world we know today. In comes The Zuck Book, oh a cancerous cesspool filled with steamy boomers with their nipples at attention, checking into their favorite dive bar, wherever the hell they go to escape their PTA meetings. Facebook and MySpace were competing for the spot at the top for a hot minute. Like I said earlier, Zuckboy offered to buy MySpace, but they turned it down. But on April 19th, 2008, Facebook overtook MySpace like a dog in heat mounting MySpace to the floor and having its way with it. It was a grotesque display of a dog-eat-dog -dog world. But what the hell happened? How did Facebook manage to catch up? I mean, Facebook was kind of notorious for being the Chuck E. Cheese for boomers. Naturally, this was a surprising turn of events. The reason for MySpace's downfall was its constant need to cater to people centered around entertainment and becoming famous, as well as lack of updates to keep its existing user base engaged. Facebook, on the other hand, used its resources to provide updates to its users and become an overall more user-friendly social networking experience. But I beg to differ. You see, MySpace was more of a place to meet new people, all on the basis of shared interests. And Facebook is nothing more than a glorified yearbook.com. You think I care about what the hell Greg from third grade is up to nowadays? You think I care about that big fish he caught last Saturday? No, I don't. Go fuck yourself, Greg. But the real question is, could MySpace have survived? What if they were more forward-thinking? Could they still be around? Well, probably not. I mean, an android like Mark Fuckerberg wasn't exactly going to give up until he ruled the cyberspace. Oh, and uh, fun fact, Justin Timberlake actually ended up buying MySpace in 2011, but since then it's been bouncing around from owner to owner like a drunk girl at a frat party. Moral of the story is Facebook sucks ass, MySpace was awesome, and it will always be looked at fondly by anyone who was raised by a computer. I can safely say if it wasn't for MySpace, I probably wouldn't be the man I am today. And, uh, that's really not saying much, I guess. I need, to, I need to get out more. I need to go outside. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, would you look at that? We're in the future. As you can tell by my, uh, my, my haircut and my slightly longer beard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, hey, no sweat. It's all good. And also, big thanks to my buddy Biodegradable for editing this video. Um, I did go in there, I threw in a little, little, uh, little sprinkles, but he did a, a grunt of this video. So thank you so much. Um, if you guys need video edits done, please hit him up. Here's his handle, and I'll also put it in the description as well. I swear to God, I'm getting a new booger wall. All right, it's coming. I've been saying it for like the last two videos, but I swear to God, the new booger wall is coming. Uh, but we got a newbie, so let's. Well, let's let him uh, meet the family. Big thank you to Frost Tribe, like Nancy with the J, that one, Digital Dice Hater, Trivia Chick, Zachary Pouillet, Bo Black, Internet Unwind, Satan, Mr. Caleb G98, Super Cyanide, Rebecca Anderson, Tony Bryan, The Bleach Boys, Doe Jangles, Bixler, Looney Mania, Burger Creek, Ass Eater, Polite, Alpha RW. Everybody, please welcome to the chat. Pantsless gamer. I know he's a little weird. You know, he's not wearing any pants, but don't be afraid of him. He's a nice guy. I know my videos have been a little bit uh, few and far between, but I swear to God, I will be getting back on schedule very soon. I just I got a new dog, so it's it's been uh, it's it's been hectic. I'll show him to you guys in the next video. But yeah, thank you guys again, and uh, I'll see you sometime in the future, or in the past, or uh, tomorrow, or yesterday, or uh, next week, or in 1805. Or whatever year Abe Lincoln got shot. I don't know. I'll, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>